In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus CaBr2, silver nitrate plus calcium bromide. First thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation, and this is the molecular equation. I have two nitrate ions here and just one over here. So I'm going to put a 2 in front of the AgNO3. Now I have two silver atoms and just one here. So I'll put a 2 here. That gives me two silver, two bromine, but I have two bromine. That's good. And I have calcium. So this equation, it's balanced. We balanced the molecular equation. The next thing we need to do is write the state for each substance. If you know your solubility rules, nitrates are very soluble. Write an AQ. And then group 17 elements, like the bromine, chlorine, they're very soluble as well. Put a little AQ. That means it'll dissolve in water, split apart into its ions. Another nitrate here, we'll write AQ. But when you see a silver compound, you need to be cautious. Silver bromide, we can look that up on a table of solubility here. Here's silver, and here's the bromide ion. And you can see most of the bromides are soluble, except right here, silver bromide. We have that I. That means silver bromide is going to be insoluble. It won't dissolve in water. Since it won't dissolve in water, it's a solid. So we're just going to write a little S after this for solid. That also means since it's a solid, it's a precipitate. It's going to fall to the bottom of the test tube when these two substances react. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. Silver, that always has a 1 plus ionic charge, and the nitrate ion always has a 1 minus. Both good ones to remember. Two silver ions, and I'll write aqueous at the end. I won't write that now, plus two nitrate ions. For the calcium, that's in group 2, that's 2 plus, and the bromine, that forms 1 minus ions. So we have Ca2 plus. And then for the bromine, the bromide ion, we have two of these. So we need to write 2 Br minus. Those are the reactants. For the products, calcium is 2 plus. We said the nitrate's 1 minus. So we have Ca2 plus plus two of these nitrate ions, 2NO3 minus, and then in net ionic equations, we don't split solids apart. So we have 2AgBr, and this is the complete ionic equation. We can cross out spectator ions now. They're on both sides of the complete ionic. They haven't changed, so we're really not interested in them. In the reactants, I have two nitrates. In the products, I have two nitrate ions. We can cross those out. I have calcium ion here, and then in the products, calcium ion, cross it out. What remains is the net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus CaBr2. I'll clean this up and write the states in, then we'll have our net ionic equation. And this is the balanced net ionic equation for silver nitrate plus calcium bromide. One thing we should do is we have 2, 2, 2 as our coefficients. We can reduce that down to a lower number, 1, 1, 1. We don't write the 1. And that'll give this net ionic equation here. You can see we have a plus and a minus. They cancel out. We have our neutral compound here. And we also have one silver and one silver, one bromine, one bromine. So that's balanced as well. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.